Uh, let's talk about uh, Tess and Paddy <coughs> because obviously there's been a little bit of something or other and it get, we get the sense that there's going to be a little bit more. Yes, so we found out in the in the Rewind episode last week that uh, where Paddy was on the night of the shooting, why he couldn't explain his whereabouts and that was because he was in the back of a Peugeot with Tess. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so glamorous, isn't it? This yeah, so oh yes. <laughs> yes. And then... Um, and then he, th he thinks he's got away with it. He's gone back to Rona. He thinks, right, I'm never going to see that woman again. Thank God, that was awful. He's full of remorse. He thinks it's all gone to bed. And then she turns not up... Not to bed. <laughs> no, not to bed, no. Mm. You know, to, yeah. uh, it's all gone underground. And then, and then she comes up, she pops up again because she's Leo, his son's mm. new teaching assistant at school. And she's a very good teaching assistant, which, of course, is golden to Rona, who wants to be her new best mate. And, uh, and he can't escape her. She comes back. So they all have a slightly awkward moment in the pub. Really awkward. Where Rona assumes they haven't met and yeah. actually little does she know what is it like you've only just started really on Emmerdale haven't you so what is it like being involved in something so explosive as we've seen from the fireworks oh well, well it's it's what you want really you know it's 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 really a gift to go into into an established show and and get quite a racy storyline straight away and and you know just go in stir things up and Go home again. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's lovely. It's a real treat. And, and in terms of in terms of sort of your experience of going into Emmerdale as well, it's, it's an incredible place to go in and, yeah. and be a part of, like an I mean, institution. Yeah. Uh, all and those people at and the moment. Huge. Yeah. And I know loads of people in it. Oh, weirdly, yeah, half of them you're at school with, or you know from yeah. the past. Oh, Jeff Hordley, I went to, to senior school with. He was my mate when I was like 15. <laughs> so it's really nice to see him and his wife Zoe and uh, it's Gillian Kearney, who was in Brookside. Yeah, 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 a long of course. Time ago. I've not seen for oh, years and see his name up there on screen yeah um, so and what's the difference between Emmerdale and Brookie I mean are they are soaps very similar well the difference mainly is how much they shoot of it I mean so when I did Brookside that was sort of three episodes a week and Emmerdale is six episodes a week I mean they shoot so much of it and there's so many storylines and it's such a big cast mm. that um yes yeah, it's just a massive turnaround everybody's it's just so brilliant and dedicated and professional up there it's i've been so impressed with everybody mentioned in your little intro vt that that was that kiss uh, on brookside mm. that is an iconic kiss that uh, that, that has uh, sort of stayed with you throughout your career really <laughs> even even at the time when i mean to think that they even showed it didn't they before the olympics isn't it nice and five then... billion people worldwide saw that moment. So girls kissing. Yes. <laughs> and, and, and like, I, it's, it's extraordinary that, I mean, I don't know, what year was that? Sort of I mean, early no, 2000, no, 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 late, no. late 1990s, <laughs> something? In the early 90s. In the early 90s. <laughs> so, well, well, we're, so we're talking sort of 25 20 years, years yeah, later. Yeah, like 20 years ago, yeah. You're, it's still there and it's still held up as a moment in TV history. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. really nice. And we, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have thought that no. at the time when we were doing it. You know, it was good fun and everything, but... It's, yeah, it's astonishing to think that people still talk about it. Yeah. And how does Kissing Paddy compare? He doesn't like kissing me. What? He, I don't think he likes it. I mean, I, I, I'm not bothered. I'll kiss anybody, <laughs> quite frankly, you know. The crew suddenly perked up then. <laughs> if the part calls for it. Is that because but you do a lot of drama, so you've ended up having quite racy parts in the part? Yes, I may be. But he's, he's such a gentleman, Dominic, who plays Paddy. He's lo absolutely joyous to work with he's lovely and he's very much a gentleman so he always wants to he just will only kiss me you know on the take and and just the one take what's wrong with me <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Why don't you kiss me? <laughs>